Hermitian, uh, obviously uh, late in the season here, you pick up an injury, you can't get in those final games. How tough was it to finish out like that? Uh, for me personally, it was really tough. It's uh, always tough to watch games from up there when you know you can't help, even even worse when you have an injury and you know you won't get back in for the rest of the year pretty much. And so it's uh, it was tough to watch guys uh, lose out in game seven. But on the other hand, it's, uh, it's great to see the guys uh, go through all this and uh, have a great season and uh, came really close to making it to the finals. You've been in a learning situation like that before where you get deep into the playoffs. How much do you learn over the course of a run like that? Uh, I think, especially for the young guys, it was huge, huge for their development. Uh, just going through a lot of stuff, adversity, especially in the in the conference finals and stuff like that. The whole season for them was a learning curve, and you could tell by the playoffs uh, how much they learned. I think we we played really well for the first two rounds, and uh, we ran in a very good team in the third round. It was a bit, huge challenge, and the guys accepted the challenge. And I think nobody gave us a real a real chance to go even that far. And uh, taking them to Game Seven in Texas, uh, even when we were down 3-2 going there, everybody was like, oh, this series is over. They won't win two in Texas. And we, they came right back and won game six, dominated game six, and uh, started well game seven. And uh, like I said, we were close, but uh, it was enough. But I think this is going to be a great learning experience for next year. What do you take out of this year for you, yourself over the course of the regular season and the playoffs as well, and what you learned and what you hope to gain from it? Uh, it's great. You, I saw a different side of me this year, uh, I think, uh, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can always uh, develop another facet of your game. And I think this year was a big part for me. I think it was my best season over here since I'm here. And uh, this is a lot of credit to the coaches. Uh, they treated me, as soon as I came down here, they treated me with uh, tons of respect. They gave me ice time a lot. And uh, it was great for me to, to get going. And uh, I was, uh, they put me in a leadership role and I accepted it. And uh, it was great uh, playing with all those young guys and trying to help them. And uh, obviously they helped me a lot too. And uh, I think for me personally, it was a, it was a great season. And uh, unfortunately, I ended with an injury. What do you take into the summer and, and what do you hope to accomplish for next year? Uh, yeah, like, uh, like I said, uh, for me, development wise, uh, it was another step. And uh, I just uh, crave for another chance to go to the NHL, obviously. And uh, it's going to be. Uh, a lot of rehab now at first and then uh, going back to work as soon as possible and uh, try to be as ready as possible or as in best shape as possible to come to camp and uh, make a good case for myself. Will you rehab that here or back in Germany? Uh, I'll probably start off here till middle of next week and then go home to Germany and uh, have rehab there. I'm, I'm in the process of setting everything up right now and then uh, go over there and uh, do the rehab, finish it off there. Corbin, for this team this year, there weren't a ton of expectations. How much did that sort of help that you know help you guys sort of fly under the radar like that? How much more confidence did that like, give you guys in the late end of the season? Mm, I think uh, def it definitely helped at the beginning of the year. But the, the more the playoffs went on and the more people saw us during the season, how good we can play and uh, that we secured another division title, I think uh, people no like started noticing more. And uh, it was kind of hard flying on the radar, I think, uh, at that time, and especially with the Leafs out of the playoffs or not making the playoffs. It was, uh, it was more attention to us, and I think the guys uh, love that part, and uh, it, uh, it puts even more motivation in you. And uh, you got a little bit more pressure, maybe, but uh, you got to use the pressure and uh, turn it into positive energy and uh, take it. And I think the guys did a great job doing that, and uh, I think everybody uh, excelled out of that. This obviously wasn't your first uh, major playoff run at this team. How do you think this year compared to the run you had in 2012? I think we were definitely a younger team. Uh, compared to two years ago, we had a lot more veteran guys, uh, a very deep group, very skilled group. I think uh, from the team skill-wise, we might might have been a little better two years ago, a little deeper. We had Matt Fratt and like, Nazem Kadri, we had guys uh, like Jake Gardner who are like regular NHL players now. So. Uh, I think it's a little different right now. We had a very young team, and they're all in development stage. I think uh, this this year was a huge. Uh, it was a great group to be part of this year, and I think uh, uh, yeah, that was a that was a good good thing. Yeah. How much do you think you'll be uh, you'll miss being interviewed on game day? Uh, it's it's going to be a tough time, especially at the beginning. I think uh, going home, uh, I got might have to buy a microphone for someone or my friends to do interviews before I work out or before rehab, I think, because I'll miss you, you know? It's, <laughs> it, it was a good time. I don't know if I miss you two guys, but <laughs> I, I definitely miss you. Like, just the relationship we build up over the, over the course of the season, I think it's going to be tough. I don't know if I can handle it that long. <laughs>